This man is one of the hottest South African talents in the game right now. Dylan Fratelli has made his way through the ranks to be a winner on the world stage, though he'll remain understated about his skills. Boringly consistent is probably the best way to describe it. I mean, you want to be consistent in every facet of the game, and that's pretty much what my practice regimen tries to achieve. And when I get it right, it turns into really low scores. So that's, that's a compliment in my eyes. There's nothing boring about his consistency, which has seen him build on the promise of winning a World Junior Championship enjoying an excellent amateur career, particularly on the collegiate scene in the US, securing a big easy win in 2013, and moving onwards and upwards, an impressive all-round package. I'm really not built into any sort of one specific stat, and I'm definitely not gonna try and compete with the longest driver or the number one putter, or as I described my name, it's boringly consistent. So I just wanna get every section of my game that little bit better. I tend to just look at my own stats and see where I'm progressing. As long as I'm getting better as a golfer and I'm moving up in the world rankings or I'm progressing on a different tour, I'm definitely in the, heading in the right direction. The progress was especially evident last year on the Challenge Tour in Europe. Consistency meant nine top 10 finishes, but the standout was victory in Geneva at the Rolex Trophy. Things went like clockwork to earn a European Tour card for 2017. Decent performances at the Joburg and Schwani Opens were followed this season by a top five in China at the Shenzhen International. This being my rookie season, it's, it's great to get a top 10 and finally crack through. I've had a lot of top 20s in the last few events, so I haven't really finished strong on the last nine and the last 18, and I did that today. I held on, didn't play amazing golf, but I held on and did well. A flight north to Beijing in good spirits saw his stock rise even higher. Leading into the final round at the top wing club, the win proved elusive, however, as he was taken to a playoff and disappointment. Stings a little bit, definitely stings. Uh, let it go there in the end, but I'm still proud of the way I played this week. It's a great result. 17 under par on this golf course is nothing to scoff at. And yeah, proud of Alex. He played well there to come back. I mean, most people probably thought I had it in the bag even with 18 holes to go, and he stuck to it and played well there in the playoff as well. A good attitude to take forward. The Diamond Country Club in Austria saw him sparkle once again. He saw off the challenge of J.B. Kruger, amongst others, to record a closing round of 67. Victory in the Lioness Open, a first European Tour success. I was pretty relaxed through the back nine, actually. I felt a lot more nerves in China. I definitely gained a lot from that experience, having lost in a playoff to Alex Levy. But I felt good coming down the back nine. I focused well. I hit some really crucial shots, touch chip shot on 13, I believe it was, that I hit close and made par. And then 17 was a great up and down as well. So really proud of the way I handled the nerves and hit a great shot into 18 as well. Just elated, really happy with the way the week went and super stoked to get my first win on tour. I think it's been a long time coming and glad to be inside the winner's circle. And you wouldn't bet against Mr. Consistent going in again.